See, I didn't even know this much work goes into an avionics upgrade. I, I really just, <laughs> right, I really just thought you would. This is all the work that needs to be done here. Uh, I didn't know like you had to get the wires through in and out, but this is. And, and the technicians would be able to tell you. Right. That. Hey guys, Mike here. So today we're gonna try a different type of video. Oftentimes I get asked about, you know, an airplane that's being requested for me to review. Uh, and I tell you, well, I have to reach out to people and see if I can find that airplane. But today I wanna take you behind the scenes, sort of the process I go through before I can go see an airplane or even create any type of video uh, that I upload for you guys on YouTube. And so typically the process usually starts, you know, I have a list of things or topics to cover, and then I reach out to the right people and see if they'd be interested. And maybe one out of 10 writes me back, and boom, we set up a time to first, you know, introduce myself and then possibly schedule a shoot date. And so today I have exactly that going on, where I reached out to a company here in Atlanta and they're uh, an aircraft maintenance company. And so today I'm just going to introduce myself and sort of get a feel of what they offer in terms of services, uh, what, what type of aircraft they've got, things like that. And so you guys stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna show you what this entire process is like. So the apps, what was the original business was it just a uh, service and maintenance before you added uh, more you know more uh... it was it started off as fuel oh, just and fuel, okay. the hangar and then you know added they had been a, my dad had been a Mooney sales and that's his bonanza so that's oh. an aerobatic bonanza oh wow okay. uh, it's 1974 bonanza and he bought it in 75 Wow, <laughs> and it's so flying. Um, That's crazy. Okay. And but the, just the the business just evolved. Administration and then um, the room where they have all the inventory. That's there probably goes. their Cirrus. So. Yeah, I saw this. I saw this for the first time earlier at the NBA. This is another aircraft that I followed. Way before they even got yeah, it certified. Yeah, and they have their hat. We have two. That's awesome. And um, and these are customers' airplanes, or so these are some are based customers of ours. Uh huh. Some are transients who, because they know we are a authorized service center for the Cirrus, uh, okay. they'll fly it to PDK and to us to do work on. A lot of them are also possibly Aero Atlantas. Okay. And but we, we would. Probably, like I said, need to definitely, um, they'll be able to know who's it is. It's Pilatus PC24. Hey, Dave, here Recently certified. And this thing is way bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah. A year ago tomorrow. Wow. And um, and this is supposed to be a, the PC24. as versatile as the PC12. But the, as far as the short field right, landings yeah, I just and think takeoffs, that's amazing. the cargo door, which is extremely you know unique to right. the Pilatus. It's kind of like it's reckon, right. um, recognizing... Yeah, all the other manufacturers are picking it up now. And then, like I said, we work on um, a lot of citations. Okay. Um, these actually are planes that are based with us. Okay. This plane here, I'm in the process of, of got some pictures that um, of it, but we just did an avionics upgrade to this aircraft, uh, and we did it with... Um, go go 
you know, the Wi-Fi connectivity. Right. We did it with GoGo and Armin, but the, um, hey, that they um, installed a lot the um, interior looks... of the cabin displays. Right. And, a, and like I said, this customer had just done a recent um, yeah, looks like they upgrade did. to their interior. Right. Uh, that and, interior looks new. Um, I think they're getting paint. I know they're getting their engines done next year. I don't know if they're all going to get the paint done. Okay. But as you see, more pull outs. Um, we usually have definitely um, half of the hangar full of Pilatuses and, you know, probably have wow. um, two to three in here per week um, doing 100 hour inspections, which with our charter department, we've actually been able to move it up to 158 hour inspections. Oh, wow. But, you know, we'll do the annual inspections, wing pulls. Okay. You know, if sometimes people will change, see the prop, the difference, the four blade prop, the five blade prop. Oh. So that that is, you okay. know, an upgrade that some people are adding to their Pilatus. Noise reduction. I always wondered that. Yeah, I always thought, you know, speed. if the prop adds to the, or the f extra blade adds to the performance. And it does. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, is it worth the cost of eighty thousand hey. dollars <laughs> i think it just kind of depends or is it you know you just want the newest latest greatest hey, listen most, most pilots are like Emotional. tech tech geeks you know they don't care Headliner, all the seats the carpet oh wow and then you can see this is amazing See, I didn't even know this much work goes into an avionics upgrade. I, I really just, <laughs> right, I really just thought you would. This is all the work that needs to be done here. Uh, I didn't know like you had to get the wires through in and out, but this is. And, and the technicians would be able to tell right. you. Right. Hey, you you you, you, know, you know a lot more than me. <laughs> this is still amazing. Yeah. Okay. My um, grandfather's 1912. Are you serious? Uh, here. Okay. And this was built by his son, my uncle, um, Ben Epps Jr. Whoa. This is this belongs in a museum. This is a and that really used to be cool. at the Museum of Aviation down in Warner Robins. Wow! Info about the plane and all of its specifications and everything. I'm just wondering what power plant this is. <laughs> and as far as an Azani engine, oh, wow. 35 horsepower. <laughs> And you'll see there's a wind-up clock. That is so cool. The wicker chair and everything. Wow. But he had about, like I said, eight different designs. Wow. Look at that chair. See, to me, this is this is true aviation right here. Yes, he definitely you know, had the bug. This is, this is what it's all about. And, um, wow. should know all of it more by heart so simple like you just all you have is those three gauges there that looks like my old old alarm clock it's so amazing you're probably going to be one of those people that would give their firstborn to just be able to fly <laughs> I, my, my wife is already nervous <laughs> okay guys so there you have it this is the typical process of getting content for the YouTube channel and so as you've seen today I came in you know did an introduction got a really good tour of the 
business here. It's it's ten times more than I thought it was. But this is the cool part and you know, you make connections, you network, and you also get introduced to other people in, in the industry. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a different uh, vlog style, a different video style than I usually do. But I just wanted to show you guys a bit of the background of behind the scene work that happens before a video gets uploaded. Okay, so if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.